Hi, Lauren Welch here. Today I want to talk to you about the Publish to Mobile capability inside of Inventor Publisher. So what I'm going to do here inside of Inventor Publisher is just open up an existing Inventor assembly, uh, in this case the Shaver assembly from the Wayback Machine, and just start creating some additional snapshots and views purpose-built for some mobile publishing. So in this case it's a simple exploded view, maybe hide a few components, and just add a couple annotations. So inside of Publisher, as we've seen many times before, I can select a few components, I can add specific callouts. In this case, I can actually add item numbers directly from the Inventor Global Bill of Materials. Once those kind of things are added, I can arrange them, pretty them up. And in this case, because it will be published for my mobile publishing, I'm just going to rename some snapshots and add a little bit of uh, information just purposely for mobile publishing. So I'm going to add some labels onto the canvas here. Pretty basic things, just describing the, this is the inventor shaver file, um, also letting us know that we're adding an exploded view. And the last note I'll add here, um, just a little bit longer, just so it'll show up better on our publish to mobile, it's just talking about how easy it is to make these item numbers and balloons inside of Inventor Publisher, which of course it is. And I also want to talk about how easy it will be to view these things inside of the mobile application. And I really just can't wait to see how this turns out on the mobile application on my iPad and my iPhone. And while I'm here, uh, my office assistant, my dog Charlie, has been sleeping all morning. And by the time I get this video published, I want to see if he's still sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and take a look once I publish this out to mobile. So with all of my notes and annotations on the canvas, I'm going to log in with my Autodesk ID inside a publisher. And this will allow me, when I publish to mobile, to actually publish to an Autodesk server or, you know, save online. So I simply have to just apply a title, a description if I want, and then I can upload this right to the Autodesk server for download on my iPhone or my iPad. So once we get this mobile example spelled properly, I'll go ahead and just again put in a little description about the shaver file. And uh, I guess the true irony of this is I haven't yet shaved today, and so maybe it's a good file to remind me by publishing the shaver file. Once we get all the information laid out, I'll go ahead and save this file online. Once I uh, go to publish this online, I can look at my Autodesk specific uh, folders based on my Autodesk ID. I can set up my own subfolders and structure. Begin, I have to log into this on my mobile device so I can set up uh, the folder structure however I deem necessary. Once that's been published, it takes the mobile file and actually uploads it to the Autodesk servers. And then I have the capability to take a look at these on my iPad and iPhone. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I grabbed my flip video camera and uh, focus wasn't too great, but we'll take a look. So here on my iPad, I can go ahead and fire up the Autodesk Inventor Publisher Viewer. Um, I can actually download files by logging in to that Autodesk server with my Autodesk ID. And I'll go ahead and download that file I just created of the shaver. Go ahead and move it to full screen, and you can see there's the annotation on the canvas. And I can actually just play through those three snapshots I made. So, exploded it out, and then put my nice balloons on there. I can actually skip to any one of those snapshots. When I double click on an annotation, I get a nice um, annotation text kind of zoom in to give me more capability or more viewing capability. And then when I do this on any of them, especially that one text box where I wrote quite a bit, um, I'll just clarify this just a little bit. So remember, we're going to go and see if my assistant's still sleeping. And of course, my faithful dog Charlie is, of course, still sleeping on the floor in my office. So he's been quite helpful over the years. Uh, you can see he's still pretty helpful in making my videos. So the next thing we'll do is take a look at turning those annotations off completely, being able to rotate, zoom in, and I can actually select a file and pull up all of its eye properties. So if I have vendor information in here, catalog numbers, I can take a look at all the information directly inside of the Publisher View app. I can jump right to specific parts of our chapters, snapshots of my viewer publisher. And let's take a look at the same file on my iPhone. So I'll just go over, same thing, I can log in with my Autodesk ID to that same server download the file locally, and you'll see the exact same functionality, just on a smaller scale, on my iPhone. And again, didn't quite have the focus as I'm trying to hold the camera and perform this all at once, but I think you get the idea. 
So the only real difference is you get full screen annotations on the double click versus just a pop-up balloon. And again, that's all based on screen size. So that was the Autodesk published to mobile, soon coming to Autodesk Inventor Publisher.